Hi, this tap along video is for you if you're realising you're coming up against money blocks but you're a fan of the law of attraction and you're scared if you start focusing on them you might attract more of them and you know a little bit about tapping. Hi, I'm Sarah from Tapping Into Money Girl. Okay, two quick things before we get into the tapping. Firstly, emotions can increase before the decrease. So it's a little bit like if you've had a bit of a crap day, you're holding it together, and then a friend asks you if you're okay, and you might get a little bit teary, a little bit sweary or ranty, as you talk it through before the feelings start, start to subside and you start to feel better about it. Secondly, by tapping along, you're agreeing to take full responsibility for your own physical and mental health well-being. Okay, so I'm going to be tapping through a number of different things. Some of it will be relevant for you, some of it won't. So just keep tapping and just focus in on what resonates for you. Okay, so just tapping along, repeating after me, even though I realise I have these money blocks and I'm scared if I start focusing in on them, if I start talking about them, then I might start attracting more of them or attracting more of what I'm blocked around and I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I know what you focus on, you attract. And I'm scared if I focus on my money blocks, then I'm just going to attract more of it. And I certainly don't want that to happen. I love and accept myself anywhere. Scared of focusing on my money blocks. Blocked around focusing on my money blocks. I don't want to focus on my money blocks. I know you get what you attract and you attract what you focus on. And I've got enough, enough blocks going on, thank you very much. Be, um, without attracting more of it. I'm getting enough of what I don't want without attracting more of it. Blocked around focusing on my blocks. Not wanting to attract any more by focusing on my block. This block around my block. This fear of what focusing on my block will attract to me. The impact it will have. And I've got enough going on already without attracting any, any more of what I don't want. Breathe in and breathe out. You just tap if you need to, just allow things to settle a little bit. And just tapping more. So even though I've learned from the law of attraction that I get what I focus on. So I really don't want to focus on my money block because I really don't want any more of that. Thank you very much. And I love and accept myself anywhere. Even though I'd rather focus on the positive, on what I do want, I really don't want to have to focus on my money block and my belief that that will just attract more of it to me. And I love and accept myself anywhere. 
I just want to focus on the positives. I just want to focus on what I do want. I really don't want to attract any more of what I don't want. I just want to focus on the positive. All these beliefs around I attract what I focus on. But the thing is, if I have a money block going on, then part of me is focusing on it anyway. And within money blocks, there's trapped emotion. And the law of attraction works on how I feel. So even if I don't focus on my money block, there's still an emotion and feeling around it. So that will be putting itself out to the law of attraction. It's doing its thing anyway, whether I focus on it or not. So I might as well harness my power and engage the law of attraction in the way that I do want by focusing and releasing this block. Whether I focus on it or not, if I have this block going on, then I'm putting that out, out there whether I want to or not. Just breathe in, breathe out, and again just tap if feelings are coming up and uncomfortable feelings might be, feelings of fear, feelings of not being in control. So even though I have the, all these feelings going on about having blocks, about what they might be putting out there, and I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I might be feeling a little out of control around this, I can very easily regain control by focusing on my blocks and releasing them with tapping. If I have them, I might as well release them. And I love and accept myself anyway. All these feelings, regaining control, regaining control of what I'm putting out there. And although I may be focusing on my money blocks for a short period of time, at least I'm doing it in a way that is releasing them. So I'm sending a very clear message to the law of attraction when I'm focusing on the positives because I'll no longer be um, putting out there my money blocks. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, just tap if you need to allow things to settle a little bit. To so even them, I didn't want to focus on my money blocks because I didn't want to attract any more of that stuff. If you have a money block, it does its thing whether you focus on it or not. So the best way to ensure that you don't attract more of what your money block is putting out there is to focus on the money block whilst tapping to release it. And I love and accept myself anyway. The best way to ensure that I no longer I'm putting a money block out there 
that I no longer attract what my money block has been attracting is to actually focus on it. Might feel like a little bit of a paradox, but by focusing on it, I can do something about it. I can release it. I can resolve it once and for all. I can release any emotions that have been trapped around it, that have been doing their thing, putting that out there to the law of attraction. So paradoxically, the more I focus on my money blocks whilst tapping, the more I can release them. And the more I attract what I do want. Breathe in. Breathe out. And again, just let things settle. And then we're going to do one more quick round. So even though I really didn't want to focus on my money blocks, I now realise the best thing to do is to focus on my money blocks whilst tapping so that I can release them. And that's the quickest way to attracting what I do want. And I love and accept myself anywhere. Even though, paradoxically, by focusing on my money blocks whilst tapping, is the best way to ensure I no longer attract what I've been attracting through my money blocks. It's the best way to ensure I no longer attract what I don't want. And I love and accept myself anyway. I now realise the best way to ensure that I no longer attract what my money blocks have been putting out there is to actually focus on my money blocks whilst tapping to release them. I now focus on my money blocks. I now tap on my money blocks. I now release my money blocks. I no longer attract what my money blocks have been giving out. I now know that the best way to no longer attract what my money blocks have been putting out there is to focus on them, tap on them, release them, so I am much stronger and I can feel into what, uh, and I can feel into much stronger what I am attracting, which is what I, exactly what I do want. I now attract exactly what I do want. Just breathe in, breathe out. Again, just tap if you need to, if there's any emotions that need time to settle, time to subside. So happy tapping. I'm Sarah from Tapping Into Money Girl. Thank you.